my friends welcome back to my channel on today's video i will be showing you how to test your water parameters i use the test kit from api it's the freshwater test kit this is the most accurate one out there so to begin you are going to fill the little test tubes that come in the kit with your aquarium water. You only fill them to the line marked on the test tube. You can go ahead and close the cap once you get it filled. Your kit will come with a little book here and on the back there is a little chart so you can match up the colors that your test tubes will turn with the colors on the chart. Once you have all of your test tubes filled with the water, then you are ready to begin. So we are going to start with the pH. For this, you are going to add three drops into the test tube, and then you shake the test tube up. After it is shaken up, you wait five minutes for the test to develop, and that is when you compare it to your chart. This kit comes with the regular pH test and then a high range pH test. Mine is always like 7.4, so I don't need to use the high range pH test. If your numbers were showing darker than what's on the chart, then you can use the high range pH. Now for the ammonia, you are going to have two bottles. So you're going to put the eight drops from bottle one in the test tube. And then shake that up. And then we are going to add eight more drops from bottle two. Shake that up and then you wait five minutes for the test to develop. So for your ammonia, you always want it to read zero, which will mean it is yellow. It's best to sort of hold the test tube up and get a white background as much as you can so other colors aren't showing through. So I will flip the front page of my book around just so I can have a white background against the test tube. My camera was not recording when I did the nitrite test, but it's just a single bottle test and you add five drops shake it up and wait five minutes. I think this one is the easiest one to test because there's such a difference between the blue and the where it starts to turn lavender. You always want your numbers to be zero, which means it'll be a light blue color. And finally, we have the nitrate test. This is the test that a lot of people can tend to mess up quite easily because the instructions need to be followed precisely. You are going to begin with bottle one and add 10 drops and shake it up. For bottle two, before you put your drops in, you have to shake this bottle for 30 seconds. When I'm doing this test, I will use the stopwatch on my phone and time it for 30 seconds. After it's shaken up, you add your 10 drops to the test tube and then you shake the test tube for a full minute. Again, I use my stopwatch and then time it for a minute and then you wait five minutes for the test to develop. There are crystals in the test bottle that need to be broken up in order for the test to be accurate. So it's very important for the bottle and the test tube to be shaken for the full 30 seconds and full minute. So for this test, you want your results to be 20 or under. I always check these results out in the sunlight. Sometimes it can be very difficult to tell the difference between the 10 and the 20. I'd say this one is reading about 20, which means tomorrow I will be doing a water change, which is going to pull some of those nitrates out of the water. And that is how I test my water parameters. I do this full test weekly and then several times throughout the week i will test the ammonia and the nitrates just to keep on top of things and make sure things are going smoothly i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching